together um, in a certain respect, uh, human relationships are uh, an undoubtedly important uh, aspect uh, to our cultures. Um, we come together uh, more than any other species, and uh, uh, that's what makes us um, that's what makes us so interdependent, and the relations we have so important. Um, yeah, and so with regard to something like sport, uh, which was um, outside the World Cup, for example, human interaction was so important that it created a culture. Even though it was like temporary, it was still a culture at a certain point in time and um, continued forward uh, to a certain extent. So during, for example, Britain, where, where we come, where we are, well, it's extremely divided at this point in time. But during the World Cup, when England started progressing, started doing so well, there was almost a lack of divide. A whole new culture was created during the World Cup. And um, that was just the importance of human relations and how human relations can um, create culture directly. Um, so uh, this means that, for example, um, our physical environment has an important effect on the culture we have. Um, and what we're trying to say by this is that it's not only the relations we have with people that have an influence on our culture. So um, as Rayan previously mentioned, uh, the um, importance of living at a high altitude had on a particular Kenyan tribe and their running habits um, and how this uh, basically fused into their culture. Um, these are important things. Um, yeah, and as well as the, the physical characteristics of the environment that we're in. I think the physical characteristics of our bodies um, are quite influence our culture and are quite separate from uh, from the culture that from 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 human relations. Uh, so, if, for example, uh, I'll start running again. Very tall people would be very good at running simply because they're tall, and that culture would develop from that quite separate from any human relations. Um, and then again, exposure to other cultures, other societies, um, this has an important effect on culture as well. Um, uh, as we talked about, uh, the effects of colonialism, the effects of cultural oppression, uh, the effects of religious oppression. Uh, for example, in the Soviet Union, uh, when Buddhism was basically eradicated in the country um, to create a non-religious state, this had a, a very important influence on original Buddhist communities in the country as our religion slowly um, became eradicated from their interactions with each other. Um, so we just wanted to talk about some relevant elements from our first essay that we thought um, addressed this question and we thought that religion was a very important uh, uh, origin uh, for culture. Um, we thought family and relations, so how you interact with your, fam with your familial group, how large your familial group is, that obviously has an impact. And if it's a very human, it's a very human impact on your cult and the culture that you have. Uh, then finally also education and the way in which politics and government influences curriculum to teach children uh, a certain way of thinking, a certain history, a certain philosophy. This influences culture as well. Um, and we'll be going into that in our personal project, but um, we thought we should mention that as well. And then, uh, quite obviously, state and politics, um, which again is a human interaction on how that influences um, the culture that you have. We've cited the Soviet Union, um, but also any country has certain, a certain culture that develops around its politics. Oh, and finally, uh, we thought that innate moral principles, which we believe are um, common to most humans. We believe that they have an important influence on all cultures and um, goes back to what we were saying about most cultures having a general guideline uh, which they all follow and some common principles, um, common moral principles which form parts of it. Okay, so just in conclusion, as we discussed, as you basically said, um, we believe that culture is um, vastly influenced by, uh, by interactions and by relationships, um, especially human relations. But it, to say that it's the only cause is um, I would think not justified.
What other sources more than relations do you find for culture? So um, these were the main ones that we mentioned in our essay. Uh, we thought that um, religion, family, education, politics, and although you could argue that they all are part of relations, we thought that the main one that uh, was non-relation based uh, was our physical environment. And that's why we thought it was important to say that um, we thought relations was more human to human than human to nature, um, because then that counts, I suppose. But. Thank you very much. I think we now break away for the yoga session. So quickly, if you could change into your track pants or any other comfortable clothes. Uh, the girls can change. We have the green room for the ladies this side. You just go out of this door. There are about four or five changing rooms. And there are changing rooms for the males on that side. So I'll say quickly, hurry up. Uh, quickly.